right, we are live. Welcome, Denise. Uh, Denise, you're in Virginia area, you just told me? West Virginia. West Virginia. Yeah. Um, you got your questions lined up? I do. For some fun? All right, hit me with your best shot. What's your first question? Okay, my first question is, how do I know that my inspired thoughts or actions are actually coming from my inner being instead of my conscious thought? Ooh, that's a good question. Repeat it one more time so I can really let that one sink in because that's a good one. Um, how do I know that my inspired actions or thoughts come from my inner being and not my conscious mind? So for me, the way I experience inner being guidance, let's call it that, I don't experience it through thought. So for me, I experience it through impulse. And I think a lot of people think that inner being or source communication for most people come as, as words or as like hearing it. Right. Um, but I think that's a bit of a misinterpretation. So for me, the way that I mostly operate is, you know, my first priority is getting into alignment. And then once I'm in alignment, the impulses that I get, I don't question them. I just follow them. Right? Okay. With the understanding that whatever is coming through is coming through from a place of inspiration and I don't question it. So I think a lot of people, when they question their thoughts, what they're afraid of is maybe making a wrong decision or right. choosing mm -hmm. the bad direction or doing the wrong thing. And once you get to a place where you understand that there is no bad decision, there is no wrong thing, there's never such thing as a missed opportunity, then the questioning or the hesitation kind of go, goes away. Does that make okay. sense? It does. Yeah, so it's about understanding that everything you experience, whether it's wanted or unwanted, you're still experiencing that in some way for your own benefit and your own growth. So, okay. yeah, does that make sense? It does. does that yeah. kind of I mean, sometimes I feel like I want to do something. Um, for instance, last year, I got a ticket to go to Bonnaroo. I was super excited. I was going with friends. And then I, the closer it got and the more it was turning to sold out, I started backpedaling a little bit. And that has some things to do with just anxiety and huge crowds. Um, and then I thought, well, maybe that wasn't just a good idea anyway. Maybe I just got caught up in how they were super excited about it. Yeah. Um, and that's, so those are the things that I kind of fluctuate with. And that's a good point because what happens is, you know, I think anxiety and excitement are extremely similar. And I think the only difference is when it becomes anxiety, we're, we're processing it through our inner critic and ego and fear. And when we process it through our inner being, that's when it feels like excitement. Right. Okay. So I think a lot of people, your inner being is guiding you to experiences that push you outside of your comfort zone because those are the experiences that drive growth and expansion. Okay. And I think a lot of people, once that those fears kick in, they hold back. So I think anytime something initially excites you and then you know the doubt, the hesitation starts to creep in, my course of action would be to kind of pull up a process like the belief tree process Okay. or something where you can explore the fear and work through it. And then once you work through that fear and that fear is no longer there, now there's smooth sailing for you to say, okay, does this really excite me? Or is it just not of interest to me anymore? And then you can back out. Okay, great. Does that make sense? That sense. Yeah. Cool. Very yeah. interesting. It, that's really good topic and something that I think a lot of people um, would ask or struggle with. So yeah, good stuff. Yeah, I mean, I daydream and think about things and I think, oh yeah, that'd be great. But then I think, hmm, is it really great? Or am I just yeah. idealizing things? Yeah. And I love having that awareness that like, you know, our purpose here is joy and expansion and you can't experience expansion within your comfort zone. So our inner beings are literally nudging us creating excitement towards those new experiences. And obviously these new experiences are gonna trigger fears or they could trigger fears. It could trigger negative emotions, things that 
we want to work through because working through those things is what leads to you know raising our vibration and being more in alignment and leading us down our path towards more of what we really want.